Hey peeps, welcome back to Elizabeth Taylor, my celebrity connection. Hope you've been doing really well. Um, and I'm so sorry for being a little bit slack on the uh, YouTube videos lately, but I've got to get back into the swing of things in the new year and, and um, get on with uh, life as we know it. So today I'm going to unveil some written words from Elizabeth Taylor. So I'm going to showcase some of the personal letters that she's written over the years, some of the colourful language she may have used in some of those letters, um, and just some really wonderful items that you can have in a memorabilia collection. Letters written by the celebrity themselves. So let's take a look at those today. Without further ado, let's have a look at Elizabeth Taylor's written hand. The first of the original handwritten letters penned by Elizabeth Taylor, some typed, is what appears to be a letter to a fan named Jeannie on the 9th of July 1948. It reads, Dear Jeannie, I am happy that you enjoyed the picture. I didn't have time last time to write. In fact, I don't have much time right now. I've started work on a remake of Little Women. I'm to be Amy. Having to take about two hours a day to put on and take off a blonde wig is not my idea of fun. Your job with the radio station sounds wonderful. King Charles is fine, but I don't ride him as much as I would like to. Sincerely, Elizabeth Taylor. In another letter addressed to Jeannie in 1948, Elizabeth writes, Dear Jeannie, your typhoons really sound exciting. In fact, almost too exciting. Mother and I are leaving for England from New York on the 22nd of October. I hope we don't have a bad crossing. I'm to do a picture over there called The, Sc the Conspirator. In Elizabeth's absence, on June 16, 1949, her brother Howard responds to an Elizabeth Taylor fan on his father's letterhead paper. The letter reads, Dear Sir, Elizabeth is in Florida, however she may be home by the time your boys arrive here. If she has any time available, I am sure she will be pleased to meet them and I suggest you telephone me when you arrive. This may not reach you in time, but your letter of June 3rd addressed to the studio reached us only this morning. Yours sincerely, Howard Taylor. In a letter dated July 16, 1947, Elizabeth, Elizabeth responds to a fan called Mary Elizabeth. It reads, Dear Mary Elizabeth, thank you for your nice letter and I had a lot of fun working on Cynthia too. And I am sending you a photo with my best wishes. Sincerely, Elizabeth Taylor. In another letter in my memorabilia collection dated March 24, 1955, Elizabeth responds to a fan by the name of Claire. The letter reads, Dear Claire, thank you so much for the lovely little pink kimono. Both Michael and I think it is so cute and we can't wait to see it on Christopher. It was so very thoughtful of you to send such a nice gift and I do appreciate your kindness. Sincerely, Elizabeth Taylor. Here, Elizabeth Todd responds to a letter of condolence regarding the loss of her husband, Mike Todd, on April the 22nd, 1958. It reads, Dear Glenn, Thank you for your comforting note. Your very kind expressions of sympathy is deeply appreciated. Sincerely, Elizabeth Todd. In an undated letter, Elizabeth Taylor Burton responds to a fan by the name of Erica. The letter reads, Dear Erica, thank you so much for your kind letter. I only wish it were possible for me to answer your request, but as I am sure you can understand, I receive hundreds of letters similar to yours and it would be impossible for me to select anyone as being more deserving than the other. Therefore, I feel that I can best help by giving what I can to world organisations who in turn can help those who are in need. I do hope you will understand and please accept our warmest good wishes. Yours very truly, Elizabeth Taylor Burton. In an envelope date stamped July 16, 1965, Elizabeth Taylor Burton responds to yet another fan named Evelyn. It reads, Dear Evelyn, just a note to thank you for your kind letters telling me of your enjoyment of both my husband and me in films. It was good of you to take the time and trouble to write and tell me. With many thanks, yours truly, Elizabeth Taylor Burton. 
Now this is the handwritten letter that takes the cake. Dated circa 1980s, Elizabeth leaves this handwritten note at a friend's house and the friend is John. It reads, Dearest John, John and I will be unable to attend your wonderful Theatre World Around uh, Award party on the 25th of May. My weight, is, my weight is still fucked up and so is the tape on your goddamn answering machine. Maybe next year. Affectionately, Elizabeth Taylor Warner. On a compliment of Elizabeth Taylor card 1989, addressed to yours truly, Elizabeth wrote, Thank you for the beautiful card and gorgeous flowers. In a type letter to yours truly in 1994, Elizabeth Taylor Fatensky writes, Dear Wayne, I am so very, very sorry to learn of the tragic loss of your partner. Please know that I will hold you close in my thoughts and in my prayers. Thank you for your kind words of condolence on the death of my mother. You are so sweet to remember me in your own time of loss. Sincerely, Elizabeth Taylor. In 1997, I received a handwritten birthday card. It reads, Dear Wayne, Happy birthday, best wishes always, Elizabeth Taylor. These have been many other small notes exchanged over the years. The final typed note is from November 20, 2010, just four months before Elizabeth's passing. It reads, Dear Wayne, thank you for thinking of me on my birthday and for sending along the lovely Lavender Tribute book, which brought back so many memories. You are so thoughtful to take the time to compile such an extensive volume. You made my day so very special with this lovely gift. Best wishes to you. Sincerely, Elizabeth Taylor. This note was presented with blotting paper so as to not smudge. One would presume then that Elizabeth typed it on her own personal typewriter in this instance. So what do you think there, peeps? A few wonderful pieces of um, written history there. The, uh, the mind and the written hand of the late Elizabeth Taylor. Thanks for joining me again today. Don't forget to check out um, some more of the videos that I've done over the last year and a half or so. Like, subscribe and all that jazz. And once again, thank you so much for your support. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.